Instacart. Catch your motherfucking days. <laughs> Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. You're watching CTV. My name is Kalandra and I'm back with another video. And for today's video, it's not going to be really long. I'm just going to update you guys on my Instacart journey. I did get a question. <laughs> and um, yeah, basically, uh, I'm just disappointed. Like, I'm just really disappointed because like, I really wanted to make this be a thing on my channel and it just ended up not being what i thought it was going to be so i'm just going to talk about it it's really not much to say but i'm just going to talk about why i'm not doing it anymore i'm just going to say i did my eyebrow i did my eyelashes kind of wrong i was trying to like hurry up and kind of look cute for the camera so don't mind it but anyway um and i'm only pointing it out because like i'm kind of uncomfortable <laughs> like yeah you can see but anyway um so i have done it's a card for a video i have been doing it a couple of months before i made that video basically like a week after i posted that video like my deliveries have just been getting less and less and less like i haven't get i haven't been getting the same offers as i was getting and it's just declined like my offers have been declining for deliveries I don't know why like i didn't do anything to piss off instacart you know i've been doing a good job my rating is a 4.91 so i was literally close to getting a five i think i have only gotten one complaint when i first started which was long before i even made that video and i guess it was because like i did like like a three <laughs> of three delivery like d delivering to three different houses and supposedly i forgot to give a customer something so that was that anyway yeah i didn't really do anything bad to piss off instacart um they don't really you know get on you about being late or anything like that because i had a couple times i was late you know i busted my ass for instacart i was making good money you know i was making like maybe up to 50 to 100 dollars a day because i kind of did it part-time i wasn't doing it like full-time and I don't really like to do stuff at night because my vision is all messed up. So I was making decent money off of it, okay? So as soon as I did that video, as weeks went on, like, my deliveries started declining. Like, they weren't popping up as frequently. And then it just got worse. Like, as time went on, it just got worse to the point where I wasn't really getting any deliveries at all. What was happening was I was getting a lot of this. When they would pop up, I would get a lot of like stuff like okay i'm not gonna tell y'all where i live at but i would get deliveries in areas that are 30 minutes away from me i'm not going to do that when i was definitely getting deliveries that were literally like five to ten minutes away from my home so yeah i was getting offers in del mar and carlsbad and that's like literally 30 to 45 minutes away from where i live like san diego is huge so yeah i was not doing that and that's like the only time i would get deliveries and when i did they would pop up for like one second and as soon as i open the app and i would be as quick as i possibly can they would just disappear like completely gone and I just wouldn't understand it. It just kept happening. And then like, I just went to customer service. Like I tried to contact them and ask them about the issue. And they would just tell me, oh, we'll just refresh the app and you know, you can get, you'll get some. And then, you know, I tried it, I did it. And it worked for like one second. Like I got like maybe one little delivery out of it. And it wasn't even that good of a delivery. It was like maybe a 18, $20 delivery, which isn't bad. But I was used to getting like $30, $40 deliveries in my local Walmart. All I had to do was drive that nine minutes away or whatever. You know, there was so many grocery stores in my area. And I would just make some fast money. Like, it was so easy, simple. Like, Instacart was literally my favorite job ever because I haven't worked a nine to five since 2020. Yeah, I literally haven't had a job. Um, I have like issues going on with my IDs and stuff. So I'm like trying to fix that before I actually start working again. And I was like really scared of COVID when it first came out and I just didn't want to work. I could have went back to my job, but I just felt like my job wasn't worth it. I was working as a hostess at a restaurant where, you know, 
it was like a whole lot of entitled ass customers i cussed the customer out y'all could check that story time about that um my co-workers like some were cool but some were just annoying as fuck experiences with favoritism all that other stuff like just feeling like my feelings were invalidated so i just didn't go back i felt like that job was not worth me working during the pandemic so i didn't go back for tons of reasons so instacart was something i did when i moved back to san diego i was in washington state so i moved back to san diego and you know i just saw like a whole bunch of videos about instacart so i wanted to try it and i really enjoyed it but literally they like cut me off they cut me off to the point where i wasn't getting any deliveries because anytime something popped up you know it disappeared right away i would get tons of oh no batches available no batches available no batches available and then when it was something that came up it was like so far away from where i live it's ridiculous so that's basically what happened and it was just really confusing because i don't know what i did wrong i don't know why they did me like that and i have heard you know other instacart shoppers say that however i would still see people still thriving off of there like getting deliveries back to back so i was just really confused as to why i wasn't getting any deliveries because i really wasn't getting any so that really hurt me like it really hurt me you know i started to do shift and now shift is starting to do the same thing and it, it's really hurtful and confusing and ridiculous and i wish it was something i could do about it but i don't know what i can do about it so yeah that's basically what happened with instacart and another way i try to get around that is um i signed up to also do the alcohol thing which i really kind of wanted to avoid that because i was just afraid of like making a mistake but i even signed up to do alcohol orders and that gave me like maybe one or two and even after that i still wasn't getting any and i heard like the pharmacy one um it's just a it's hard to get into so i didn't do that yet but i feel like even after doing alcohol i should be getting something and i would i still wasn't getting anything with that either as of recently i re-downloaded the app just to get some screenshots of what i've been going through and I will say that I did see a couple of offers in my area that weren't too bad, but they weren't as high paying as they were before. Like the highest I would see was like $15.99. Gas prices have went up tremendously. And I just don't think it's worth it anymore because I've seen a couple for like $9, $12, $15. And they didn't disappear or nothing. So, I mean, I think, yeah, it is kind of better. Would I do it again? Maybe for a little bit of extra money if, you know, it keeps going that route. But I won't be doing it full time. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to make content filming Instacart or Shift, unfortunately, because both of the apps just haven't been offering me anything. And I don't know what to do to fix it. So for those that were excited about my Instacart content, I'm sorry for like updating you guys so late. Um, I was definitely going to talk about what was going on. I was just like really confused and upset because I really wanted this to be a part of my channel. Like just me making content that could eventually get me paid and then along with getting paid and then helping others get paid is just what I wanted to do or at least part of what I wanted to do. You know, I love to shop and, you know, I'm pretty expensive. I'm not high maintenance, but I'm pretty expensive. Like, I love to make money. And I feel like this year just hasn't been my year when it came to making money. But, yeah, that's basically what happened. And, you know, hopefully maybe I can make some Instacart content. Or if it happens to be another gig that pops up, I will definitely be down to do that. Um... I know there's DoorDash. I know there's, you know, other things like that. I have done DoorDash before. I never documented it. I feel like DoorDash was just a waste of money because it was like even more driving than Instacart. And the pay would just start at like $5 and then get no higher than like $8. And it was just a waste to me. Like, I feel like I would, that's not enough for me. The $30 of delivery that I was making off of Instacart to only drive like a five mile distance to the grocery store and then another five mile distance to somebody's house is not bad and it was well it's good it's good money actually because i was making about maybe 50 to 100 dollars a day 
and now I'm not making shit because they're not offering me nothing. So, yeah, that's that, you guys. Um, so, if y'all want to see other content, like, y'all kind of know what I post already, fashion content. Any type of content that you want to see, just let me know in the comments. If you have any tips or advice about this issue, please let me know. If you do Instacart or anything like that, I will see y'all in my next video. All right, I will see y'all later. Bye.